in the last video we scraped the google home page says scrappy today we are gonna deep dive into it we're gonna scrape one science news site and we scrape for its data and the whatever the follow-up page for the article we are going to scrape that and probably with the pagination see how much time it takes first let's get started with the creating the new file for the science site and i start importing the scrappy and creating spider with the class the name of the spider and the inheriting the scrappy parent class scrappy dot spider i guess yeah as with the capital remember that and the name of the spider let me yeah name of the spider is science mag we need to start urls to um, allow that class to get started with something <coughs> to scrap the very first page is loading from the, this list of the start url so i'm going to copy it and paste it over here and define the class called definition parse the parse function is always to be parse if you want to uh, if you import that the inherited function that it will automatically take the parse function to scrap we don't need to call it manually scrap will do for the, it, us and i'm gonna show you that uh, how that page looks like because scrapy is not going to load javascript for us opening in browser is a method which will load the downloaded page in our html page by importing from the scrappy yeah why jump do for us that in the suggestion and to get to know that scrappy is only give us the very first response uh, that we are getting from the html page scrappy is not loading javascript or any form or it won't click any interactive button like if you want to click the button on the page uh, it won't do it for us you can see that get special pricing or maybe another button we can't click it with the scrappy but we can submit the form that we will do later in the series yeah you can see that the that particular page is open in browser with the, the path of the temp file in my computer c drive and then temp file so you can see this is the very first response we can't get the button get rising because it's javascript loaded and scrappy does not load any javascript page you can see there is no advertisement in the sidebar that is what i'm saying about the scrappy only get the response on the very first call of this page scrappy does not gonna load any javascript for you so uh, from this response we are going to scrape the list of these articles that you can see mm, so as i told you we are gonna start it with the header, the title of the page, and I in the previous video I told you how to take shortcut for XPath. I'm gonna take a relative XPath, not full XPath. Full XPath means absolute path. If indeed you need, then you can choose full XPath as well. like 15 to 20 articles in this page we're gonna need all what we need right now is just the title we are gonna only take the title yeah 
you can see all the title we are creating with this x path yeah this will gonna work for us and for the x path i want you to guys know that that there are property uh, which will be accessible with at the right uh, like there is a class or id or name so you can pass like the division name and in square basis there is at the right class and equal to the value whatever you wanna that particular division class or maybe any element value with that class value or maybe name or maybe id and if you want to inner html property like text then you can pass the slash and the text with the function uh, two braces i'm gonna do it in the short time so whatever path we are getting i'm looping through the for loop because we gonna need all the 20 or whatever articles over there and then the response from the x path and extract first the extract first method is going to scrape only one particular item remember only one particular item from that x path and dot is for the relative path that i'm gonna tell the scrapey that these all links or all title are different so if we don't do the dot value in the first then what it will gonna do is it will check only one title which loaded first in the html page and it will return it that so title equal to text this is how you can extract the text property from the HTML page using X path. And here is the function, it's something like return, but it won't save any value. Not exactly return, but it will queue all the code and execute one by one. And every call you pass to the yield, it will it will work in a C. It will return to the scrappy and give us the output from whatever you pass in it. Here we I pass the one object to print and whatever you are passing in the it will get printed in the log where we are running our spider. Let me show it's going to work or not you can see yeah we indeed get title yeah, title and the link but you can see there is a link it's not absolute link it's a relative link we never gonna you know pass to the link yeah slash news and so we we want to have the proper link that we can transfer and get the particular that page of that article so for that we have to pass one function that scrappy provides uh, name of the function is the response that we are getting from the parse function self response you can see over there in the function response.url join and whatever link you have to join to the response and which is here is the link and let me show you from the scrappy documentation you always go to the scrappy document once you know how to learn from the documentation it will easy and scrappy is now very bigger library than ever and it's a it has lot of to learn Mm -hmm. 
so the response dot url join will attach the the parent path of that science make to the link which we want to extract uh, which we already extract and let's see it's going to work or not probably it's gonna work mm. It's already scrapped and yes, you can see there is the link, the proper link that we actually want that we can click so we can navigate to the actual article page. Yeah, that seems nice. Now, uh, whatever page we are forwarded, we want to scrap the data. Like whatever data we see hmm. uh, I'm converting here in the stream remove the slash and, and to trim the extra space from the title and we're gonna need the data on the very next page Okay. I'm converting this into the object, the Python dictionary, because we're gonna create one new function, or maybe simplify the yield function with the dictionary. Yield is getting in a dictionary, and uh, print into the our console the terminal. Right. So it's all the same. Now. There are five, 551 page. And if you want to scrape the pagination, because pagination is the very important part in scraping. And there are sometimes maybe JavaScript loaded page or sometimes pattern matching. Here you can see is the pattern matching. Whenever I click on the second page, it will give me the, you, it will give some hint in the URL with the, parameter page equal to one two three and still going on you can see six then it says the page six five five page it means page started with the zero one two three four five six so let me get page url page url equal to however oh, this is not best but uh, it uh, seems work in many pages so it's worth to know that how to scrape the pagination with the pattern matching pattern matching means matching the pattern with the url the url of the website which shows us the pagination with the url with the parameter so i'm gonna look through it for the how many page we want to scrape and that's the issue with it if after some times we want to scrape the same site and it may possible that uh, you may have more than like 1000 pages and you are now scraping only 551 pages then it may you may not get the older pages the error. but uh, for now we are going with the pattern matching with the i'm using the range function from the page number one to the 551 because we don't want the zero number page i mean the very first page because we already scrapped the very first page by allowing the for loop you can see that uh, function is going to from top to the bottom so we started with the second page and i'm formatting the url the page url that i tick and the same url we want to pass to the parse function it means we want to call the same function that we already created pass and scrappy will do for us with the inbuilt method scrappy and here we're gonna use the yield as well but uh, the method to scrap method to 
all the scrapy function is not like self dot parse no we need to pass the special parameter response and for that scrapy give us special function scrapy dot request and you need to pass a couple of argument you can see in my pycharm it's already suggested you need to pass the url that we are getting by pattern matching i pass URL, and then there is other argument for now is callback there are many other important callbacks or maybe arguments to pass we will get get to know in the later point of the series callback means we need to pass the reference of the function we are not actually calling the parse method we are just passing the reference and whenever it comes here and it comes here for 551 times because we are passing in the range with the 551 pages right so we are only passing reference we are not calling it with the double braces if you pass the double braces it will execute it like written statement and it will give you an error so pass only the reference without calling it with the curly braces right and you can see we are yielding it we are not returning it Now you can see there are pages already started scrapping. Yeah, I need to pause because I don't want to go to for all the 551 pages. So control C is the shortcut to stop the spider. And if you press control plus C double time, then it will forcefully stop the spider. If, yeah, you can see it's pagination working. And this is the pattern matching. This is, however, not based method, but uh, we will do with uh, another way, like uh, submitting forms as well, or maybe clicking button with the selenium. Yes, we are gonna, you know, mix up the selenium and the uh, scrapy in the later point of time. For now, this is it. In the very next lecture, we are going to extract and passing argument to the next function. How to pass the argument to the next function uh, with the metadata. Okay, see you in the next lecture. Do like and subscribe.